Welcome again to another Planned Parenting video. So before we start, I would like to thank everyone who's watching right now. And for those people na nag-subscribe na rin sa channel na to, if you weren't able to subscribe yet, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell as well in order for you to be notified every time that I upload a Planned Parenting video like this at iba pang random stuff na ina-upload ko dito sa channel na to. I know for the fact na sobrang liit pa lang ng channel na to, but I'm hopeful that I will be able to reach a lot of people talaga, especially people that has the same interest as mine when it comes to collecting plants, caring for their plants. Yung mga plants na papakita ko ngayon sa inyo are basically parang in random order lang siya, but according sa title natin, rare plant yung ibang papakita ko ngayon sa inyo. So yun. So I will be saving those plants on the last part of this video. So, so yun, stay tuned lang kayo. And most of the plant actually na papakita ko sa inyo in this video are still in their juvenile state. So sabi ko nga it's going to be in random order but still I will be saving the best for last. So let's start. So the first plant na papakita ko ngayon sa inyo are this plant. This is the prayer plant. <laughs> I have the dotty and this one, I'm not sure to be honest. <laughs> Basta dalawa silang calathea or basically a prayer plant. Ito, sobrang babies pa nila. Sobrang liit pa nila. And prayer plant na to, dalawang leaves pa lang. But now, after few days, it was able to form na yung third na leaves niya. So, I'm so excited with this one. Okay, guys. So, you might ask, bakit babies pa lang to at bakit hindi ko pa sila naripot, right? Kasi a lot of my friends or a lot of whom I know talaga, told me to basically medyo may pagka high maintenance yung mga calathea or yung mga prayer plants talaga. They don't want tap water. They would love to be given like rain water or distilled or purified water. So yun. Kasi medyo sensitive sila when it comes to minerals sa water. So that's the reason why ito kinuha ko babies pa lang kasi they are still in their experimental stage pa. So yun. I don't want to jump into taking care of the full grown na tapos end up mamamatayan lang naman at sobrang mahal especially ng ganitong calathea so if I will be able to have this plant dito sa room ko at magiging healthy sila so basically perhaps I will be adding another varieties of calathea dito sa room ko and the next plant that I will be showing you guys is this one this is an albo here this one is what you call an albo syngonium because of its variegation ang ganda talaga ng variegation ng albo syngonium na to and I also have, to be honest, hindi ko alam ko anong klaseng syngonium to kasi kinuha ko lang to sa daan. <laughs> as, I was, as I was riding my bike, nakita ko siya at nagandahan ako sa kanya. That's why I made some cuttings. Tapos, sinagay ko siya dito sa pot. At eto rin. I don't know if the same sila but basically parang may pagka similarity sila. Both of these plant actually I got this from beside the road lang. <laughs> hindi ko to binili or basically hindi ko to hiningi sa ibang plant parents out there. At just to make things clear, hindi ko to ninakaw ha. Parang this one kasi parang kinoconsidered to as parang weed lang. Hindi pinapansin dito sa amin especially dito sa subdivision namin na sobrang daming parang weeds. And another type of syngonium is this this one. Sobrang ganda ng veins na to. Ng syngonium na to. So, binigay to sa akin. This is just cutting. So, this is still, this one is still on the nursery pot pa. You probably know already that I am an addict. Certified addict when it comes to alocasias. So, this one is what you so-called an alocasia heterophila. So, basically, when you say alocasia, madaming klaseng alocasia. So, if you're going to say naman alocasia heterophila, if you're going to Google alocasia heterophila, it's like parang meron din siyang mga subtypes. Meron din siyang mga sub-varieties talaga. Yung pinaka-common na varieties of alocasia heterophila na as I know of dito sa Negros is this one, alocasia heterophila metallic blue and the uh, alocasia heterophila devil's tongue other people call this as alocasia heterophila corazon but i would rather stick to metallic blue na name ng alocasia na to kasi i don't really see the connection of corazon with this plant mas gusto kong tawagin metallic blue yung plant na to kasi it looks like a metallic blue talaga hindi siya green parang more on bluish shade siya 
ng leave. So, kinuha ko siya na sobrang mature na talaga kasi I am so confident na when it comes to taking care of alocasias talaga. So, these are alocasias. Most of them, alocasias. I also have another alocasias over there. Yung green shield alocasia. Yung goal ko talaga is basically makulek lahat ng alocasia which is I know it is very impossible to collect kasi sobrang mahal nila especially those alocasias na parang super out of this world na talaga yung design ng mga foliage nila so hindi po talaga ako maililig when it comes to dracaena kasi when it's when you say dracaena sobrang common na ng plant na yon di ba hindi talaga ako mahilig sa dracaena but you can find this anywhere actually there's a lot of dracaena na sa garden namin we put it sa bathroom we put it sa kitchen so ayun parang I'm not against dracaena it's just that sobrang common na niya talaga at yun yung parang hindi mo siya makakonsider na collectors plant talaga. But, I come across a specific type of dracaena na sobrang rare ng type na to. This is a specific type of dracaena. This is called a dracaena goldiana. I am not sure about the right phonetic way of saying the name of this plant, but ito sobrang namang ako sa kanya when I saw this plant. I thought when I saw this plant, parang other type siya ng rubber plant, but it's not pala. It's basically a dracaena. <laughs> ito lang yung only dracaena na sobrang na-attract ako. So, sobrang rare niya kasi this plant is basically nanggaling sa Africa. So, sobrang layo ng Africa, di ba? Dito sa atin. And the reason why this plant or this specific dracaena is very, very rare is that sobrang hirap niyang ipropagate. At when it comes sa growth rate niya, sobrang slow. As in, super slow talaga yung growth rate ng this kind of dracaena. Kasi when you say dracaena, sobrang carefree niya, sobrang bilis ng pag-growth niya. But Iba yung case ng dracaena na to. Sobrang may pagka-delicate siya. May pagka... What else? You have to really take care of this plant kasi sobrang slow ng growth niya. I am still trying to get the hang of this plant kasi yun nga, kaka-acquired ko lang sa kanya. Hindi pa masyadong matagal yung bonding namin ng plant na to. So, pero sobrang nagagandahan ako sa kanya. So, I really hope that I will be able to make this plant alive and really tall talaga. So, yun. Isa pa pala when it comes to propagation, unlike the other dracaena that when you cut those dracaenas, especially yung stem niya, and then you put it in water, after a few weeks nag-uugat na siya. But this one, sobrang hirap talaga. Hindi siya madaling mag-ugat. Sobrang low ng percentage niya na magka-ugat yung stem cutting niya. So, that's the reason why super rare yung plant na to. Now, we have come to the most exciting part of this video. Dahil papakita ko ngayon sa inyo yung pina- career na plants ko sa, with all of my collections dito dito sa bedroom ko. Sobrang laki ng container niya. <laughs> This one is what you so call the Cystis Mirabilis. Sobrang ganda niya. As in, sobrang ganda ng imprint ng leaves niya. Tapos, sobrang hirap din ma-acquire yung plant na to kasi parang just like the Dracaena na kaka-show ko lang sa inyo, ito sobrang bagal din. As in, sobrang bagal din ng growth rate niya. This came from Africa as well. Specifically, from Benin, Uganda, and Angola. This plant is super extremely hard to come by sa mga garden. At yun, whenever you see this plant, parang hindi din siya for sale. Parang display lang mostly sa mga garden. Kasi nga, yung iba, pinaparami pa nila before nila ibenta to. But the problem is, sobrang tagal niyang mag-progress. Sobrang tagal niyang mag-form ng new foliage like this. So, that's the reason why super rare yung plant na to. At sobrang hirap din ma-acquire yung plant na to. So, ito, kung napapagawa pansin nyo, nandito siya sa malaking pot kasi binding plant to. What I have read kasi over the internet is that this plant love to be in a really big pot like this so that medyo mabilis yung pag-progress ng root system niya. Tapos, I repotted this kasi yung napansin ko sa kanya, nag-root bound na yung previous pot niya. That's the reason why I repotted this plant dito sa way bigger container. Yun guys, so that will be all for now muna. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and click that notification bell in order for you to be notified every time that I upload a video like this again. I will try to upload a weekly video, at least one video per week. Kasi parang sobrang busy ako ngayon when it comes to work ko. So, ito lang muna guys for this week. Thank you very much for watching and see you again on the next one. Bye-bye.